Hello everyone, it's uh, December 2018 and around these days you've probably heard of this news that uh, researchers in China have actually used the famously easy and uncomplicated CRISPR uh, technique in order to create and nurture human embryos that were for the first time in the history as far as officially known genetically modified and enhanced and according to the news a researcher uh, by the name of He Jiankui in the Chinese city of Shenzhen claimed that a couple of years ago he used this technique in order to uh, edit a gene called CCR5 which allows HIV to infect human cells. So basically he claims to have created one baby that was resistant to HIV infection and another baby who was not but I don't know something else was edited on that baby or whatever. And obviously the predictable discussions about this news have already begun. But I think they are the most boring kind. I mean, they all say, is it ethical or is it fair or whatever? I mean, by the way, it's my personal opinion that this technique should be practiced and it should be allowed. I don't think it will result in the rich creating a race of Uberman. It will just mean that there will be this technique uh, which will help people to screen the genes of their children that make them susceptible to cancers and other diseases like HIV, whatever. And initially it will be of course used only by the ultra-rich, I guess, but the technique actually is not extremely difficult. So in the future I think it will be as cheap as buying a, I don't know, second-hand car or something. And because this is about children now, all the parents in the world will be in line to get this. I mean, I don't know anyone. I mean, they could have any claims, yeah, but I don't know anyone who would say no if they were, if they were offered the choice. Hey, do you want us to screen your children for cancer? And if you find the gene for, let's say, breast cancer, do you want us to remove it? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think anybody in the world would say no to that. It's only when it's done with genetic engineering that people start getting the heebie-jeebies and... Oh, well. But now I want to talk about the social implications of this thing. Like, uh, I'm going to move past the non-issue and non-debate of uh, whether it's ethical or not. Or is it right for the rich or whatever. And I want to talk about what if in the future, starting with the rich, obviously, and unfortunately, whoop, I dropped something. I want to talk about the future in which this practice has become commonplace. How would the gene engineered babies feel like? Now, that's the more interesting part of discussion. Imagine you're a kid like the son of a billionaire or a millionaire who's never worked in his life and somehow it's known that you have this gene therapy and let's say you are like immune to 70 percent of all the genetically contra uh, contracted cancers out there now once this becomes known it's gonna give rise to a certain effect i bet i bet there will be a uh, woman who will seek out these genetically engineered lucky men just to father children from them. And some of these women may even go as far as saying, okay, you know what, I don't want your money, I don't want your support, I just want your baby. And I mean, in a pragmatic society, who wouldn't? And of course, there's degrees to which that pragmatism is pursued, but I see it completely likely that there will be in the first stages of adoption, there will be these lucky kids who walk around saying, oh, you know what, you know, I'm immune to cancers or I'm immune to HIV, blah, blah, blah. And they will have an interesting life. I think many women will throw themselves on them.
and not just because they are the sons of billionaires. I, I mean, the same thing is happening because even without the genetics, you know, I mean, you see all these like uh, extremely wealthy people's kids and, you know, there's kind of brats and, you know, women go all over them. Because why? Because they have an advantage in life. And vice versa, I mean, uh, there's a breed of men who stalks the delicate, uh, carefully brought up children of rich people and tries to, you know, make a life with them in order to benefit from their benefits. I mean, it's ugly to t talk about this, I agree, but it's also a common and indelible fact of life. And I don't know, one idea I have is that in the future when the first generation of these gene-edited babies are grown up, they could actually make a decent living selling sperm. Now, I don't know how accurate this is, but I used to read somewhere that you could gain like $50 a week or something in certain parts of the United States by selling sperm. So sperm from a genetically modified cancer or whatever disease resistant like clean gene edited baby like when that baby grows up and becomes a dude i guess in the early phases of this technology's adoption he could make a lot of money just you know jacking off and selling his stuff and that would be an interesting life. I mean, you could have a romantic comedy like that, you know, a, an apathetic young uh, brat who who has been lucky enough to be genetically engineered and all he does is like jack off and sell his sperm and he's very well off. He doesn't need anything, but he hasn't found true love. And along comes a, a struggling ordinary girl and they fall in love and he learns the meaning of humanity and whatever, whatever. I think there's a lot of material in these social issues for future comedy dramas and whatever. Yeah, and we're like, yeah, that's me. I was born with her blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and now let's consider the far off impact of these technologies. Let's talk about a time when gene editing is ba in babies is as, let's say, as cheap as in vitro fertilization or even like dental surgery you know then you could have all the weird things i mean after a point uh, okay in the first phases people will be able, like rich people will be uh, willing to pay millions just to get the life-threatening ones you know cancer down syndrome whatever but once the technology becomes cheap then we will get to an interesting phase where people will want uh, taller kids I mean people in India famously are shelling out enormous amounts of money for creams that make their skins paler and you could have the same thing that uh, people would people in these parts of the mo world would actually want to modify their children's genes so they would be paler or vice versa maybe some like extremely bland uh, you know Hamptons type of rich people will actually want to make their daughters or sons uh, with darker skin and this is actually a thing there are these like white women who go around with skin creams and hair treatments and whatever and they try to make themselves look ethnic or black because hey that means sexy I guess I mean so there's a lot of things like that uh, going around with cosmetics already so once genetics becomes as cheap affordably cheap let's say what will people have their kids look like I actually talked about this with my wife and we talked how we would want our like if we were give, given the unlimited a menu what would you want your kid to be like well, i don't know physically i don't think i would alter much and actually i mean personally i suffer from a mild genetic condition it's called ehlar danlos syndrome and basically it just makes my limbs flexible and i have fallen arches but other than that i'm good and sound in shape but the more dangerous varieties of this syndrome I don't have them thankfully they make the person like 
basically break down like a wet tissue after a certain age. So that's a risk. My wife also has a genetic risk of breast cancer. Now we would obviously all want to edit those out. But what else would you like? I don't know. I, if there's a, and this is highly controversial. Do you think there's a, I don't know about this by the way. If there is a gene controlling intelligence, I would push that shit up to the max. I would want my kid to be extremely smart. Transhuman smart, in fact. And what else? What else? Better skills with language. I, I guess, I don't know. I need to check these, but there were some studies linking certain like memory retention or whatever. So what 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 would what it comes down to is like if I had this treatment I would obviously weed out all the diseases and make uh, my kid as smart as he or she would be cosmetically I don't know I don't know what I would make and there there it becomes interesting because cosmetically people want to shape their kids similar to themselves you know I don't know what do you think, guys? I mean, I could go on like this forever. And also, because it's uh, connected to issues like race and uh, social standing and money and power, this is a very prickly issue. So I, I always tread lightly when I'm talking about these things. But if you had the choice to genetically design your own child, how would you make him or her? And, you know, I mean, don't come up with fantasy stuff like ah, I would give him wings or something. That's just boring realistically what would you want or not want to have in your genetically designed child let's hear it in the comments ladies and gentlemen and as always have a nice day